And the topic of today's webinar is going to be how to become a blogger. That was my good friend Leslie Samuel introducing this week's topic on Webinar Wednesday, which is how to become a blogger. Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you doing this fine day? And welcome to our Webinar Wednesday recap. This video is a 10 minute or so recap of our free weekly live webinar series called Webinar Wednesday. Every week here at Dotto Tech, we host a free tutorial webinar on some compelling topic. And I take that topic and I compress it down into about a 10 minute recap of just the highlights that you're watching right now. Now, if you're interested in joining us for the full webinar, I encourage you to check the links below and sign up for our upcoming webinar Wednesdays. As I said, they are free. And if you choose to, you can watch the full recording if you sign up for each week's webinar, but you'll find out all of those details if you sign up. Today, now I want you to just sit back, relax, and learn from a master. Learn from Leslie Samuel as we talk about what it takes to become a blogger. My name is Leslie Samuel from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time and with a blog like a, with a name like become a blogger you have a good idea of what I teach right but let's talk about the specifics about what we're gonna get into today, to get into today uh, first we're gonna look at why you should even think about starting a blog then we're gonna talk about how to do it the right way how do you avoid making those mistakes that so many bloggers make how do you start a blog the right way then of course once you have the blog you have to get people to your blog and once you have that audience the question is Leslie how in the world do you make money from your blog how do you turn it into a business because what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out a number of lessons uh, so that you can learn how to build a blog around whatever you're passionate about now this biology blog was one that grew relatively quickly up to the point where it was getting uh, as you can see here if you look here at this number down here you will see up up to a hundred thousand visits in one single month and if you look over the course of this blog's history over 2.6 million visits by over 2.1 million people and this why should you think about starting a blog well let me give you a few reasons number one blogging gives you a platform it is always good to have a platform where that you have an audience of people that are tuning in for a certain kind of content number two it opens up all kinds of opportunities it gives you ways to connect with some awesome people that are doing amazing things it also gives you flexibility a blog is something you can work on from anywhere in the world once you have an internet connection uh, it also and this is the one that gets a lot of people excited it helps you build an online business and make money the whole concept of working from home blogging does allow you to do this but I have to confess something right at the beginning before we get into all the how-to and that is this are you ready for this I'm not sure if you're ready for it but I'm gonna bring it regardless and that is this a blog is not a business I know Leslie what are you saying Leslie you're talking about how to become a blogger and turn it into a business but you're telling me a blog is not a business that is correct a blog is not a business it is a platform around which you can build a serious business there's one important thing that you have to know you don't own your social platforms I don't care whether it's your Facebook account your Twitter account or even your YouTube account this is not something you own but a blog is the platform that you can own. You need to own your own platform that you own and control. And that, my friend, is your blog. So the, here's what I want you to ask. Because once again, a lot of people create their blogs and they hope things happen. They don't plan it out. I want you to think about if you're starting a blog, who are you going to target? Like specifically, who will you target? For me, that was upper level biology students that were taking physiology, human physiology. It was a specific topic, 
all right? And I was targeting a specific type of person. Number two, what medium will you focus on? Yes, there's YouTube where you can create video. There's iTunes. You can have your podcast listed there. Uh, you can have written content on your blog. There's, there are different types of content that you create. But what will you focus on? And number three, what will make your content unique? You remember with my example, I looked at the biology blogs that were out there and I saw all these boring, long research articles and, and stuff, but no simple videos explaining one concept at a time in the way that I wanted to do it. So because of that, I created mine and it was unique. And as a result of that, that blog did well. Uh, your domain name, you're going to need hosting, and you're going to need WordPress. WordPress is the content management system that I highly recommend uh, that you use for your blog. Why? Because it is relatively simple, but it is open source, and uh, there are so many plugins and WordPress themes that you can find uh, freely available that can help you to extend, uh, expand the functionality of your blog as you grow. So WordPress is a great place uh, to start. And fortunately, it's relatively easy to use. So your blog. I like, to, I like to talk about something that I call the content equation. Now, just to simplify this a little bit, let's assume that you have an article on your blog, all right? Because we like to think about big numbers. Let's assume you have an article on your blog that gets 10 views a day. Is that hard to imagine? Not really, right? 10 views, maybe somebody stumbles onto it on Facebook or via the search engines. 10 views, that's not really hard to imagine. Well, let's say your content gets an average of 10 views a day. Uh, let's say you have now uh, 10 articles on your blog. Well, that's an average of 100 views a day. What about 100 articles on your blog? Well, that's an average of 1,000 views. And if you have 1,000 articles on your blog, that's an average of 10,000 views, assuming that they all get, not one, sorry, but 10 <laughs> views per day. That's not very hard to imagine. But that's how it adds up all about. So you have a number of different options for content. You can create written articles. You can decide to go with audio podcasts. You can do video, or you can do a combination of these three. The idea is you want to take action by choosing one form of content and going all in. Now, it's great to be on multiple platforms and to be everywhere, but what I've noticed is, especially when you're getting started, it is important to have that focus because you, you can focus on that uh, platform or you can focus on that type of content, go all in, get really good at it, and use that to grow your blog. Now, for me with that biology blog, as I said, I was creating videos. I started with videos because I knew that this would be a great way to, to engage people and to teach them these concepts. They have to see it. I could draw the neuron. I can draw a picture of the heart and show how the blood is flowing. And that's exactly what I did. I chose one platform and the platform that I chose since I was going with video is YouTube, of course, because YouTube is the number two search engine in the world. It is the best platform, in my opinion, for creating educational videos and putting them out there because people are going to continue to search for that content and I can get more traffic over time. And that's exactly what I've seen. So let's look at the anatomy. That's a pun right there because, of course, it's a biology blog. <laughs> Mm, yeah, I'm corny sometimes. Even in my videos, that's just the way it is. And you're going to have to accept it, okay? <laughs> all right, so here's what I did with my biology videos. Uh, first of all, of course, you want to have a detailed title. So for this video, the title was How to Read an Electrocardiogram. And you can see this video had over 704,000 uh, views at the time. And now it's over a million, actually. Um, I had a detailed title that explained exactly what value they're going to get in this video. Uh, of course, a detailed description, but not just that. I have calls to action in multiple places in the description 
and in the videos where I give verbal cues to tell them, hey, if you want more videos to help make biology fun, head on over to interactivebiology.com for more of these videos, all right? I am gonna jump in right now. Uh, that is just a sampling of the type of content that Leslie delivered us in this training tutorial. Uh, his actual training session was about 30 minutes here, and then we did another 40 minutes or sort of Q&A this particular week, so there was just a ton of really great value that Leslie delivered. Now, if you're interested in learning more of what Leslie has to teach, I will put a link below to his uh, From Idea to Blog free training. This is a tutorial that will go through all of the different concepts that he was talking about in our webinar, so you won't miss out on a thing and you can really learn it properly from somebody who I consider to be a master at educating people on how to create and benefit from the creation of their blog. I hope to see you live one week for Webinar Wednesday in person and check out some of our other videos here at Dotto Tech. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle. So that's a bit, a bit of a big, 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 big